Good morning. How are you guys today? It is 10.04 a.m. Tuesday, the 7th of June, 86 degrees outside. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the kitchen. I hope that you are doing well. Yesterday was an extremely productive day for me. I told you in the last vlog I was going to miss a Tuesday vlog, which is today, <clears throat> which I am going to miss. Uh, yesterday was a very long, very busy, very hard day. Um, I did get the closet finished. Now, when you take an entire room, clo my closet is a room, when you take the entire room out of a room and put it in another room and then another room and then various parts, then the whole rest of the place becomes a mess. So it's like a progression of mess. What was that Southwest fall travel sale? Your discount code is one click away. So it's just one traveling mess around the house. So I cleaned out the closet, which then made my bedroom a mess, which then made the second bedroom a mess, which then made the living room a mess, which then made the front room a mess because things were moving throughout the house. Uh, some were going to trash. I have a pile like right here of donation. I'm gonna show you the closet, but know that my bedroom's not perfect yet and the filming room or my YouTube room or the second bedroom or whatever you wanna call it is a disaster and that is today's project. Tomorrow, our trucks have been delayed, so tomorrow I will have another day. So I'm trying to get this done. All I really want is to just get it done because it has been hanging over my head and stressing me out for so long now that it needs to just be done. Um, and then when I get to this point, I'm kind of ruthless and everything goes. I have no sentimental value. I have no need to hold on to anything. I have no need to, well, it'll fit eventually, or it used to fit. I like that it now a little bit. No, it goes. It goes. Um, I found my class ring. That's, that's why this, I'm just wearing it so I don't lose it while I'm doing all of this. And then I'm going to put it in a spot because I can't find the jewelry from my, when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, or a kid, I had a James Avery collection and I can't find it anywhere. It was in a blue glass, like that frosted milky blue glass with the white on it. I don't know how to, I don't know what that is, but it was in that in a heart shaped jewelry box, very small. The jewelry box I've had since I think I was a little kid, very young child. I don't remember not ever, ever not having it. Um, it was in there and I can't find it anywhere. Today I'm going to be working on one closet in the second bedroom and tomorrow I'm working on the next closet. Now the next closet is the one that's going to take me the longest because that closet, that's the closet that when grandma came my entire desk was shoved in that closet plus Robbie's stuff is still in there, needs to just go or be donated or he needs to come pick it up. Um, and there's stuff in the top of that closet that when we moved into this house was put in that closet and never touched again. Yeah, so there's that. All right, I'm gonna take you into the bedroom, um, into the closet, and I'm gonna show you um, Robert's side of the closet. We didn't do anything. I, I took out some stuff at the top, but we didn't do anything. He didn't wanna change it. It's his closet, it's his stuff, it's his way of doing things, and that I'm not, who am I to tell him it's wrong or it should be different or whatever? It's what he likes and what he prefers. And I'm not going to tell him to change that. That's just, I would never do that. So again, like I said, I'm ruthless. I was ruthless. Things went out. Things are gone. Um, there was a lot in the closet that are keepsakes. And that is where I have run into a problem. So I have, I think, 10 containers in there of pictures. Thank goodness, pictures are digital now. Pictures, memorabilia from when the kids were little, their school stuff, um, just different things. And now is not the time for me to go through those things and organize them. Okay, let's go see the closet. Um, I'll kind of briefly show you the second bedroom, but maybe not. There's that back there. All right, there's, so here you can see bugs in the box. You can see all of this. 
here. Um, a lot of that, that's the keepsake stuff. Those pillows I, I have because I want to take the filler out of them. That's our old couch. I, it's just, there's a lot going on here. We still have this over here, but this closet is the closet I'm doing today. That is tomorrow's closet. Oh, bug. Woo. This and some other stuff on the other side. That's going to be the cruise closet, travel closet, if you will. So in there is going to be, first of all, all of our winter jackets and coats and all of our luggage, as well as anything we use for cruising. So like our water gear, our water shoes, that kind of thing. All of that will be in there. And this closet will be the keepsake closet. That is the closet where all the kids stuff from the past, all the stuff from Robert and I's past, you know, all the stuff you keepsake that you don't know what to do with that eventually when you're gone, your kids will throw away. That's going in there. So that's that. Okay. I need to vacuum again, but see, this is still not finished yet. And I am going to go through all my makeup and clear out again. But if it's out there on the top up there, I pretty much use it. So I'm going to I have a mirror that's going to go up there. Uh, here's the fireplace. The vacuum cleaner is here until we finish cleaning out the garage. The garage will not be cleaned out until the fall because it is too hot here in Texas and Robert and I just can't handle it right now. We can't. It's I can't even tell you what's it's so hot. It's so hot we, and I just can't deal with it. Anyway, okay, so here's my fireplace. You've all seen this before. I love this fireplace. It's really, really good. Um, I will leave it linked for you if they still have it. This one and the one in my living room both came from Wayfair and I absolutely love them. So, and these, aren't these the cutest? These little succulents? It's a whole big package of them. So this, um, I have one on the fireplace in the living room now too, but I will leave the tulips linked for you. This came from the dollar store and the the rocks and the thing came from dollar store the succulents now you have to let them kind of fall a little bit and there's a couple in there that are cheesy that i wouldn't use but um this is pretty these come with um lids if you need the lids but so i've had that f from kirkland's for 20 years so there you go the bells are not available the bells are not available anymore um they came from zoo lily which i'm not super fond of but that is where they came from Hello, little boy. Hello. So there you go. And I realize I never talked to you. You're going to get up there, little angel. I never talked to you about my bedding. Um, I did pick up this bedding a few months ago. Um, I changed over. We used to have white and pink, which I still have. Um, and uh, it was nice. But I switched my bedroom from gray to this taupey tan color um a few months ago and i like it much much better it's just it matches better in here for now i will probably keep this bedroom brown when we paint it but the rest of the house is going to be gray uh, when we paint the house and i will be painting the house probably next year not not this year i don't have i don't have time oh oh sorry sweetheart what's happening oh papa you love your bug bug you're such a good boy you're learning is she so scary? She's so scary, but she's not as scary as that little one. Oh, that little one. I don't like him. He's so precious. Anyway, um, there is clumps of dog hair all over the floor in here, despite the number of times I have vacuumed. She is shedding like crazy. Okay, are you ready for the closet? There it is. I know, it's a closet, wow. And that is not bright enough. We're gonna change that light out. Okay, so let me start. First of all, yes, there are shoes on the floor. I need to put racks or some sort of shelf across here. I was not gonna replace this. I, I, this thing is God, 15, 20 years old from Ikea. I was not gonna replace it. It works just fine. It just needs a shelf to go across. They have the expansion shelves and tension shelves on Amazon, but they're like 30 bucks a piece. So basically what I think I'm gonna have Taylor uh, just get some inexpensive like Luan or some sort of thin wood because it just has to hold shoes and just tack it up along here for me just, just so it works. Look at my new shoes, you guys. Do you not love these? Love is love. 
and these are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. I don't think they're available anymore. Cole Haan sent the link and man, I jumped on it and like the very next day they were all sold out. But I absolutely love these and I love what they represent and I love it's my way of showing my support. So absolutely love it. My other Cole Haan sneakers, and I have a couple pair under my bed that I'm actively wearing. And back there are my Toms, which are my um, puppy and kitty support. These, they're not super comfortable, but I just need to break, Bobs, not Toms, Bobs. I just need to break them in. I will. Okay, so here are my shoes. You can see all of that. These are my colorful leggings, all my different colorful ones. These are my running shorts. These are my sports bras. These are the full body ones, uh, excuse me, like crop top type ones. Running shirts and, uh, oh dear, where are my other, where are my other sports bras? <gasps> uh oh. Oh, here they are. Good grief. And there's the ones I actually run in. These are cruise t-shirts. This is actually not where they're going to stay, but these are my nicer t-shirts, t-shirts from friends, um, t-shirts that I wear around the house, things like that. So they're not staying here. I'll get to that. Here's, uh, these are keepsakes. This is, um, like gift, uh, not gift cards. Um, Hallmark cards. What are they? Just cards from my husband, from my children. These are my Color Street nail strips up here. That back there is perfume samples. You can see perfume samples. I keep them. Y'all know that's how I travel. I travel with perfume samples and I use them as um, like bathroom sprays and stuff while we're traveling. But some of these are the nicer ones that I actually really like the scent of. So I like to keep them in my purse and things like that. Okay. These are my bracelets. That's all I have left. I pretty much got rid of everything else. Um, this <laughs> it's an, a ring. It's just, it was a joke. Anyway, um, and here are some of my longer necklaces and all my Alex and Ani bracelets. And there's all my nail polish. That's it. That's all my nail polish. That's all I have left. And um, I have picked up two more nail polishes and I don't need any more. You can pretty much see they're all the same color. I mean, if you look, it's all the same color. And when I was cleaning this out yesterday, I was like, are you serious? What? Why? Why are all of your nail polishes the same color? <laughs> what's coming is the same color. <laughs> here are all my purses. I've put them up here, my MacBook box, and that back there, the black box is Lego. It is a collector piece that actually fell off the shelf when we were remodeling and smashed, and I don't have the instructions to put it back together. But it's a collector piece, so it's in that box. All my purses, all of them, Every single one of them. Yes, I know. I have two of the same, basically the same color. I couldn't pass up the price. One zips, one doesn't. That's the difference between the two. Um, this is my Kate Spade. This is fossil, but all the rest are my Kate Spade. Those are my Kate Spades. I have no reason to buy any other one. I'm good. And over here is my fossil collection. I love fossil, just in case you didn't know. That's Kate Spade. Um, this is something that came from a subscription box and this one's coach. And up in here are my little crossbodies that I take cruising with us. There's my Lego collection of waiting to be built. There's my Barbie. There's Biddle. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's start. These are my leggings in this fabric thing. It'll do for now. They have metal shelves that hang like this or wire or something like that. Um, that I will be replacing this with most likely we're gonna I'm gonna see how well this holds up because honestly I mean who cares I mean it's you know it was too long so I just it's fine so there you go that's all of my leggings I know excessive number of leggings y'all I wear them I wear all of them I wear mostly the colored ones like on the ships or when we're at home with a sweater or something like that I don't wear the colored ones as much as I do the black and I don't wear the pattern ones anywhere but when I'm running. And those down there are purse covers. This, this right here is all of our cruise paperwork, ship cards, stuff like that. These are my extra hair dryers. 
um, they go on sale. And when they go on sale, I pick them up because the, the bristles on these things break. They break and they fall off and then my hair's too thick. Those are extra slippers that I love so much. They're my furry slippers. Um, they're backups because I found them on sale next to nothing. They were like $12.99 or $10.99, so I bought a couple backup pairs. These are my travel running shoes, and then they're all my shoes. I mean, it's just ridiculous, and the shoes go around the corner here. So, like I said, once he puts the shelves in, I'll have plenty of room for shoes. Up here, this is my sweet, I don't want to ruin this shirt. It's my favorite shirt in the whole wide world. Just my absolute favorite shirt. I love the stripes. I love everything about this shirt. And I don't want it to ever get ruined. So I'm not wearing it as much as I used to. But it's my favorite. Hello, baby. Mozzie. No. My two running jackets. And all of these are my hoodies. I know you'd think I'd have more. But I don't. These are all my hoodies. Sweaters. My little wobblies. Wear around my Alaska hoodie. Um just my different fuzzy fuzzies. Uh, they may go in the cruise closet with the winter gear. I'm not sure. And then again, these are all my cruise shirts. These are the shirts that I get on the cruise ships um, that I typically bring with me to wear around the cruise ships with my leggings and things like that, or if I get too hot or whatever the case may be. I try not to wear them at home, um, but after I've worn them a couple of times on the ship, then they do turn into home shirts. Here's my sweaters. These are all my sweaters. Absolutely every sweater I own is right here. And I have accumulated a collection of sweaters that I love. I don't need any new sweaters. The, oh, nope, that's not true. Um, I have Christmas sweaters under my bed in a storage, sealed storage container. It's just Christmas sweaters though, you know, specific to Christmas. These two should probably go in it, but I honestly, I would wear them. It doesn't matter where. I mean, I would wear them. These, oh, these, I just, I absolutely love them. Now, these sweaters right here, right here, this is the Nordstrom, um, uh, oh, what is the cashmere collection. They marked them down, and I, I know, two of the same. <laughs> That's how much I loved it. And I, uh, picked them up, and a number of sizes. Some are small, some are extra larges. It doesn't matter. They all fit and they all look cute and they're all comfortable and I love them. And cashmere keeps me warm and I have the cashmere liners. So I'm good. I don't ever need another sweater until these wear out and I doubt that they will. This is one of those shirt jackets I got from the loft and mm, I don't know. There's my a jacket. It's, it's lightweight. So anyway, okay. These are jackets up here. These are my uh, jackets right here and then these are long sleeved shirts so I don't have very many so that's why they're there back here if you'll look back here I know it's kind of tight back here but I can still get back here um, here's my long sleeve shirts to go with my vests right here I love these vests here are all my pants all my pants y'all have not seen these two yet they came from loft they're linen blend cottony pants I love them I love them love them. I haven't seen these yet either. Loft. Loft. I don't know who made those. I think they came from a subscription box. I was talking so much my camera shut off. Um, all my long dresses are back here. That's an extra table. Uh, excuse me, extra chair to our table. Um, here are my purses that I don't carry that often, but I can't bring myself to get rid of yet. That's where they are. I know I said I was ruthless. Uh, yeah. Isn't that pretty? We had to rip this shelf out. We had to rip out the poles and everything for this to fit. Nobody comes in my closet. And honestly, if you don't like looking at it, well, don't look at it. Click out. Bye. Okay, here's this. Um, these are all my long dresses. All of them. My new dresses I just showed you. So here they are. And I did. I ordered a red one of this one. And um, one size up of this stripy one so I could wear it now. Um, as I'm losing weight and both will fit me and both will get worn. My shorter dresses are right here on my cruise dresses. Here's all my long cardigans and my short cardigans. Um, they're all right here. Everything is here. Everything is gone through. Everything fits and everything is worn. Um, that's where everything is. And here are my 
little tankless tank top uh, sleeveless tops, my flutter sleeve tops, my t-shirts that I wear with leggings and um, nice white plain t-shirts. So that's everything. I mean, that's, there you go. That's the closet tour. So much has come out of here. So much. You can't even know that whole thing up there was lined with keepsakes. All my Lego was this way. This was a bunch of empty cardboard boxes like this. They've been reused in other places around my house. These two racks, these racks are phenomenal. Now you can see, I don't have a closet rod up there like this one. I think you can order them, but this works just fine. I just slipped the hangers right through there. I did the same thing. My dresses are out a little farther. Um, I could tuck them in and hang them just like I did that, but I'm not gonna. And my long skirts are hanging the same way as the sweaters. These are all my long skirts. Some of them you haven't seen yet like that one. You haven't seen that one. You haven't seen that one. Um, and a lot of them are doubled over over here. I'm going to separate them and hang them. You haven't seen this one. Uh, this is one I got from Loft. It's velvet. And this one you haven't seen. That's fine. Uh, they'll all be coming up on the cruises coming up. Uh, you know, I, y'all know I love the, oh, you haven't seen this one. This is Stitch Fix. Um, I love the long skirts and I love the leggings and pretty much that is what you're going to see me wearing. Leggings, um, one of my little tops and a cardigan or a long skirt and I don't know, a, something on the top. One of my cross front tops and one of my linen jackets or something because I, I freeze. I, I'm just always cold. It's, it's, I'm cold right now. So there you go. So there you go. And uh, Robert's closet is over here and his stuff is over here. There's two. This bookcase is on the other side as well. Oh, these are my bathing suits. I told you about all this. That's my travel jewelry. It's my backup sunglasses. Um, and uh, these are the shorts, my swimming shorts. These are all my bathing suits. I know I have excessive quantities. I get in the water a lot. We swim a lot here at home. Um, uh, I usually bring two or three with me when we go out of town, when we go on the ships, because, you know, what if something happens to one of them? Here's my folding thing. Okay, that's enough. Well, so there you go. That's everything. Oh, that's wrapping paper. I'm sure all of you guessed what that was. It's sort of stuck out there in the middle of the, of the closet. I'm really hoping that I'll have room in my keepsake closet for that to just slide right in. There we go. Okay, so that's everything. Um, you've seen the closet now. Now I'm going to get busy. Hopefully I have the energy to get busy. I might not at this moment. Now I will explain what happened here once. Okay, so yesterday, in case, well, let me start at the beginning. You may not know, I'm blind on my right hand side. I have no vision over here. Some people think it's funny. Some people like to come up to me on my right hand side to startle me on purpose. It's not funny. Um, it's, it's, it's getting worse. I'm losing my peripheral on this side. I, I have, this has been gone for a long time, but it is getting worse. Um, this is from an injury. I was hit in the eye with a brick when I was young and blinded and I had surgery and all sorts of stuff to correct my vision. I'm extremely lucky to be able to see um, at all with this eye. Um, and um, it's the reason why I'm not a candidate for LASIK. I have too much scar tissue um, and I have two cataracts. So I have a cataract in each eye. Having said all that, yesterday I was working, I was moving shoes from my shoe rack to the bedroom and I bent down and I was turning and I didn't see my treadmill. I knew my treadmill was there, I just wasn't thinking about it. I didn't see it and I whacked into it really hard. <laughs> uh, I almost passed out. It was excruciating. It scared me so bad. <laughs> was, uh, texting a friend because I wanted to make sure I, it, it scared me. I know what it feels like to have a concussion. I know the symptoms. Um, and I, I'm not a doctor, but I don't think I have a concussion. We did, we followed a concussion protocol that I I know to follow um, just to make sure so uh, just to make sure I didn't slip into a coma or you know lose consciousness or start feeling bad but you know concussion symptoms don't always show up right away so we're still under protocol we're still watching still monitoring okay so 
I'm warning you right now, this picture I'm about to show you is kind of gross. So if you're affected by injuries, if you know, you're triggered or you, you have, you have an aversion to seeing injuries or things like that, then look away. I'm going to show you this picture very quickly. So here it is. Okay. I'm still showing the picture. I'm still showing the picture. Okay. Now you can look back. I've removed the picture. Um, that is what my head looked like, um, right after it happened. And um, when I hit it, it, I was immediately like in a state of shock. <laughs> it, it hurt. It still hurts. No, it's sore. It doesn't hurt. It's sore. Um, and so that caused a delay yesterday afternoon. <laughs> it was an hour or so of me sitting and, you know, making sure it was okay. So Robert was home to take care of me. Chandler was home to take care of me. They both took care of me. We iced it. We did all the things you're supposed to do. Anyway, you can see it is bruised. It is still swollen this morning. I'm hoping that the bruise doesn't get much darker than that. Um, so um, I don't know about bruising. I think bruising actually gets worse over time before it gets better. Like it turns darker as it's healing, doesn't it? Turns like that yellow color. I don't, I don't know, but I'm really hoping that it's, it goes away because you know we camp in a couple of weeks and I don't I wear my hair up a lot and I really don't want that big old bulging thing sitting there but I had a nice goose egg up there for a while and it's still I mean it's still swollen but not nothing like it was when it first happened <laughs> nothing like it was when it first happened so anyway um, and I took pictures all along the way of my eyebrows it does feel a little heavy over here because of the swelling it's swelling so it kind of pushes down a little bit on my eyebrow just a little bit no big deal um, but I took selfies along the way just to make sure I didn't have any drooping eyes you know all the different things to look for and watch and monitor and check and you know we're doing all those things so um, there you go technically I feel like I probably should have gone just to double check at the hospital but, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so that's that. So there's the closet. So I will link for you down in the description box as much as I can. These closet organizers were fairly inexpensive. There's another one, a shorter one from Amazon that I actually considered. Now, I haven't tried that one out. I will leave it linked for you. Um, but... I really like these closet organizers. I like that they're on wheels. Now they're tall. Um, so that's why we had to take out the um, rod and then the shelf on the side there. We had to take all that stuff out. Um, you know, if I cared, then I would have somebody come in and finish it and fix it. I, I don't care. It's just me and Rob going in the closet. And as I've already told you, somebody doesn't like looking at it. Well, they don't, they can go. I don't care. <laughs> it's not it is what it is. I mean, I'm just going to be completely frank with you. You know, I'm not like these big fancy YouTubers that have perfection. They live with perfection. I don't live with perfection. There is no perfection in my world whatsoever. None. I could not have six cats and have perfection. There's just, that doesn't exist. So anyway, all right, you guys, I am going to let you go for now. And I'm hoping I can update you with the other two closets. But I have to tell you, I am very tired. I'm sore. It was a lot of work yesterday. But I want to get it done. I need to get it done. So I'm going to sit down for a little bit and rest. And um, I've got uh, some work I need to do. And then I'm going to force myself to get into the closet. It, I did have to force myself yesterday to go start that project. I just had to kind of dive in and go. So I'm probably going to have to do that today. So that room being so full the way it is, I need to clean it out. I need to get everything put away because it's driving me crazy. I'm not a perfectionist, but I can't stand messy. I, I can't. All right, enough rambling. I'm procrastinating. I am done with this closet anyway. This one, it's, it's my treadmill's in the way, but... Okay, so this one's not as neat and tidy, but it's done, and we're about to go get in the pool. So I'm gonna show this to you, and then I'm gonna go get in the pool. I'm so tired. I'm absolutely exhausted. Did y'all ever play Stop Thief when you were kids? I love that game. It's like my favorite game forever and ever. I picked that up at a garage sale, like, I don't know, last year or something, and it's in here because I don't ever want it to go anywhere. Occasionally we play it. It does still work. Anyway, okay, there are my spirit. 
luggage. This is a new bag I just got from Shein. I like to take it in the camper. It's rigid, it's a good bag, it holds a lot of stuff. So that's why that's up there. Seasonal bedding, that pillow, um, I don't know what to do with it. I, I, it's still new. Anyway, y you don't care. I rotate pillows a lot because I get headaches. Anyway, okay, there's my United bag. This is our medicine bag. There's another bag. This is all of our water gear. And then all the luggage is down there. That is all of my, um, what are those things called? Packing cubes. And then a couple of water accessories because I don't know where else to put them. Um, and then here on my, this is, you know, from here over, different cruise company hoodies. These are all of my rash guards. And um, so depending upon the cruise line we're sailing with, the hoodie will go. Um, Princess, this is my like favorite hoodie, like my one from Alaska. It's like the perfect hoodie. So this may actually go in my regu regular closet and just get worn. I loved it so much, I bought a second one on the ship. So <laughs> that's how much I loved it. So my raincoats, just some lightweight jackets, my winter jackets, these need to go in the camper. Um, these are perfect for the camper. Um, I bought them at the anniversary sale, I think last year. They're so soft, they're the North Face or something, and they're warm. I have found these furry, fuzzy things block the wind, that they're just warmer. And then just my jackets, my rain jackets, my big old coat and a coat, and then there back there is a rug. Oh, I have another hair dryer up there. Anyway, the other side of the closet's not done yet. That's coming. So there's everything. That is going to house all my camera equipment, my GoPros, all my equipment. Right now I have it in another drawer in my room, but it's about to go in there, just not right this minute. So there we go. I mean, this is what I wanted. I wanted all of our luggage. All of that was in my closet, all of that. And it just took up so much room. And I love this bag. Uh, I'd like to eventually get all of my, um, oh, you guys, packing cubes out of that, packed together, and then just up here. And I probably will, so that I can actually use that bag, because that bag is fantastic. I bought it clearance, on clearance from Nordstrom. So it's just a fabulous bag. Uh, it's not great for heavy things because the straps are thin, and so they're uncomfortable on your shoulder, but you can get little pads if, if you really want to carry it. Anyway, so um, yeah, there we go. Everything's in here. I'm pleased with this. This is what I wanted, and now I'm all done. So I'm gonna leave the other side of the closet for another video because this room is still a mess, a mess. What I have left to do in this room is I have a bookshelf to build. I have bookshelves to put, not bookshelves, but shelves to put up on the wall above my desk. Um, and um, I have a few more things to go on the wall in here, but I have in that side of the closet, a ton of cruise ship pictures, not a ton, several cruise ship pictures that we need to get framed. So I'm looking forward to getting them out of that closet, measured and framed. Um, so. And then once I get the shelving up in this room, I'm gonna build my Lego cruise ships. They will come in here. Our carnival ships on a stick will come in here. We, we have, yeah, so that we can start doing lives again at some point from this room. I actually have a whole bunch of new equipment to do lives with, um, you know, like uh, sound mixers and things like that. And um, I bought all of that before COVID. <laughs> So, and then COVID hit. So there was really no need for us to go live, really. There was no cruising and so Anyway, and then life became crazy. You know, grandma's situation changed, a bunch of things changed. So we didn't really have an opportunity to do some things we wanted to do, but we do now. So, all right. So thank you so much for watching this. I know it was, you know, just closets. That's why I titled it what I titled it. We're gonna go hop in the pool and enjoy this very hot day. It is 93 degrees, 100%, pretty much 100% humidity. So we're gonna go get in the pool, enjoy the day. And tomorrow, the trucks may actually be on time, so I'll probably be at work tomorrow. And then Thursday, I'm gonna tackle the other side. That is gonna take forever. That's gonna take a long time. That will probably take me a couple of days, so. 
hopefully by the time you see this vlog, that'll be done. <laughs> Wish me luck. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.